Now, what is the core? Now, this core is at 501 kilometers, and it looks like this lava pit. And you can click on it, and once you've done that, you can see there are three tabs at the top, ore, relics, and scientists. And what you can do is you can sacrifice these items, the ore, relics, or scientists, to receive a reward. Now, it's potentially, because most of the time you will not receive the reward. So if I want to use and sacrifice coal, I can put here. As you can tell, I sacrificed 3,333 coal and received 67 platinum. You can do these, as you can tell. I got all these items, but you can also get nothing. So I sacrificed some amount of coal and I got nothing. Another example of this right here. So the main use of sacrificing ores would be if you want a lot of a specific ore. So if I sacrifice around a thousand Californium and I want, I don't know, a lot of coal, I can sacrifice and you can see the output is a lot the amount I get and you can basically just spam this and what you can see on the ore menu at the top is that I'm getting a lot of different ores so once I've done this for a while I can see you can see a, a lot of the text but you can also see the amount of ores that I've obtained from this so if I ever have a blueprint that I need or maybe some trades that I need a specific resource I can use this to get it while you're progressing in the game you will need some like painite cobalt platinum you'll need quite a bit of it especially you can use this for specific items in the reactor so if I want uh, buffs all of these buffs use lots of silver platinum and copper and to get 50 mil, the fastest way is via the core and sacrificing Californium for some other items. Now the other tab are the relics. Now I've already done this, but as you can tell, the core looks different than it would normally when you first get to it. It has kind of a bluish color to it. And this is because I sacrificed a book of secrets. Now, once you sacrifice a book of secrets, it will turn the core blue. Now I could sacrifice one of these golden shovels or book of times. You can get a warped relic. And now this warped relic will have a slight increase of buff compared to the original one. It will be slightly better. I'm not going to do that because I can sacrifice an additional book of secrets, which will turn this kind of in a, the core into kind of a rainbowish color. And I can sacrifice a relic to get a divine relic, like I have over here with the Book of Times. I have like I don't know, one, two, three, six Book of Times, and they're called Plus Plus, which is also divine, as you can tell by the bottom. Now, the Book of Secrets is very difficult to obtain, so it'll take a while, which is why I'm not showing you, but I've gotten around 10 of them out of the whole gameplay, out of, I don't know, a thousand hours or so. So it takes a long time to get them. Now the third tab are scientists. And I'll show you one. I can sacrifice these scientists. And what it gives me will be a slightly better scientist. I'm going to try it on Layla and, and Lieutenant Ramirez. Okay. So as you can tell, I got... A warped scientist which you can see right here I did just use my uh, where is it as you can tell once you use a relic or scientist in the core when it's already has a book of secrets it will decrease you will lose the book of secrets so you have to obtain two more to either get it divine or one more to get it warped now if you go back to the scientists it looks different it looks warped as it says here, even the name is, but basically just makes the scientist slightly better. I can also get a divine scientist like I did with the warped one, but I'm not wasting Book of Secrets. For those, I would rather waste it on relics, or not waste, but use it on relics, because using it on scientists is kind of a waste because they will just die at some point. 
Thank you for watching.